read this bedtime story a hundred times. Really, Grandpa? Well, maybe I'm exaggerating, but let's make up a new one. Yeah, it can be in outer space. On planet... Squidula! Where the space squids live. And we'll call it... The Space Squid Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a space squid kid. He kept his room very neat. A place for every jar of slime and every jar of slime in its place. One day, Papa Space Squid and Mama Space Squid came in and said, It's too clean in here. You have to make a mess. Aw, oh, man. I mean, aw, oh, squid. You see, on Earth, parents tell their kids to clean up, but Space Squid parents tell their kids to do the opposite. This room is spotless. I'm so disappointed. When we get back, it better be a total wreck. I hate doing chores. That should do it. Soon, Earthling astronauts approached Planet Squidula. Commander Scrub and Commander Bubbles of the Cosmic Cleanup Squad. <gasps> I'll be Commander Scrub. Oh, and I'll be Commander Bubbles. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Look at that stinky planet, Commander Scrub. They need our help, Commander Bubbles. You're right. Let's go investigate. I wonder who lives here, Commander Scrub. Obviously someone grubby, Commander Bubbles. Let's help out. We'll straighten up. All that cleaning makes me hungry. Let's go back to the rocket ship. I've got some crackers. But don't make crumbs. Space squid son? Why is this place still neat? Are you too lazy to make a mess? But I did. I, uh, um, how did this happen? You tell me. Your room didn't clean itself. Try again. When we come back, it better be dirty and disgusting. Enough! My tentacles are tired. What happened here? I guess we ought to put things in order. All that cleaning makes me hungry. Let's go back to the rocket ship for a snack. Yay! We can wash our hands again. Space squid son? This place is immaculate. You could eat off the floor. But it wasn't me who could... Get up with the excuses. Make it look like a disaster area ASAP. If you do a good job, we'll go for ice cream at the Melting Meteor. <sighs> no fair. Who are you? I'm the Space Squid Kid. I live here. Don't worry. We'll help you clean this up. Again? Wait! Stop! Huh? On Planet Squidula, kids make the rooms messy. Not neat. Really? We've never been to a planet like that before. Sorry. We should have asked you how we could help before we did anything. So, shall we make a mess? The messiest! <laughs> And after they finished making the messiest mess in the galaxy... Mm. Is this story almost over? We're tired. I thought all kids want to stay up late. Not us. Can we wrap it up? It's just like the story, Grandpa. Ask someone what they want before giving them something they don't want. And we, we want to go to bed. So the Space Squid Kids' parents came back and said, what a marvelous mess you made with your friends. Now we can go for that ice cream. Just make sure you get it all over yourself. The end. <laughs> hey, I hear you, little kittens. <laughs> all right, get in here. Why are you still up? I thought I tucked you into bed already. We want a story first. Yeah, about a pirate. Arr! An elephant pirate 
who fights something huge and scary. Like a bear. Or a dinosaur. I know. A mouse. I love it. A pirate mouse. Uh, okay. We'll make up a story about a crazy little pirate mouse on a pirate ship. And I have the perfect title, That Crazy Little Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a bold pirate captain who loved to sail the world in search of treasure. <sighs> oh, this treasure hunt has got me pooped. I need me some sleep. <laughs> who said that? No, not that crazy little pirate mouse. Every time I want to sleep, he pumps out of his mouse hole and scares me. I mean, keeps me up. <laughs> Go back in your hole right now. <laughs> oh, what can I do? <gasps> I know what that captain needs. Mouse tamers. That could be us. Aye, aye, matey. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Oh, hi, Captain! Mouse tamers, ready for action! Mouse tamers, tame mouse! Your, Your command, command is our wish! And so, the brave mouse tamers went to work. First, mouse tamer Kit tried capturing the hyper mouse. <laughs> I've got this! I'll capture the rascal with my net! Can't take it! Make him stop! Not to worry, Captain. That stowaway can't outrun me. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> Surrender, Harlot! <laughs> Please, I can't take this much longer. Drive that pest back where he belongs. The mouse is hyper, but don't dismay. We'll drive that pesky pest away. <laughs> ah! Hurry, I can't hold on much longer. Go back. Shoot. Scram. Get out of here. Go. Go back into your hole. Shoot. The moose. Ah! <laughs> Please, enough! I can't take it anymore! Take what? This racket! Oh, all I want is a little peace and quiet! Oh. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Peace and quiet? Easy peasy! Lullaby squeezy! <laughs> When you wake in the morning, you'll hear the sea call. And you'll sail off for gold buried deep. But the night is the time for adventures in dreams. So lie down, little pirate, and sleep. Well, I'll be. It worked. You two have saved the pirate ship from this scary but lovable little... In the morning you'll sail off for treasures to keep. Now I down, little pirate, and sleep. Good night, Dad. Good night, Kit. Good night, Kate. Ooh, is that a flying carpet? Nope, just a regular rug for your bedroom. Aren't the colors pretty? If it doesn't fly, what does it do? It covers the floor. Come, kittens, feel how soft it is. Can you take it back? Take it back? Why? Don't you want it? What good is a carpet that can't fly? Good point. I'll bring it back tomorrow. But before I roll it up, Let's all sit here and make up a story. Okay, about a jiggle bug. A jiggle bug. What's her name? I know. Gigi the jiggle bug. <laughs> <laughs>
Once upon a time on the planet Zebulon, there lived two best friends, Gigi the Jigglebug. That's me. And her best friend, Juju. We're the best friends ever. Gigi and Juju would spend every day playing together and having fun. They would... Raise up the walls and across the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Light up their antennas and dance to the music. Jiggle, jiggle bugs, wiggle, jiggle bugs. Jiggle, jaggle, wiggle, waggle, jiggle, jiggle bugs. And fly high in the sky and do loop the loops. <laughs> <laughs> But one day, Juju said, I'll see you next week, Gigi. I'm going to my grandma's. But who, who will I play with? She can play with us. Yeah, we can be friends with Gigi. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! I wonder if this planet has doorbells. Look, it's Gigi. Hello, visitors from another planet. Do you want to play with me? You read our minds. Yeah, weird. How'd you do that? I'm so glad I have new friends. Let's raise up the walls and across the ceiling. Um, we can't do that. We're kittens. You are? Oh, well, that's all right. Do you like to dance? We, we love, love to dance. dance. Good. Let's all light up our antennas and dance the jiggle bug dance. Jiggle, jiggle bugs. Wiggle, jiggle bugs. Jiggle, jaggle, wiggle, waggle, jiggle, jiggle. Hey, what's the matter? We can't do that either. You can't? Why not? We're just kittens. We don't have antennas. Yeah, I see. Well, that's okay. Uh, we'll just fly loop the loops. Do you want to tell her or should I? Tell me what? We're just kittens. And you can't fly. What good are new friends if they can't even fly? I wish I could only play with my best friend, Juju. Wow! <laughs> Gigi! <laughs> are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? I banged my antenna, my arm, and my leg. Can you do this? <laughs> yeah. Can you do this? <laughs> yeah. Hmm, interesting. Why? What does it mean? It means you can still do the jiggle bug dance. That's right, I can! Jiggle, jiggle bugs, wiggle, jiggle bugs. Jiggle, jaggle, wiggle, waggle, jiggle, jiggle bugs. Jiggle, jiggle bugs, wiggle, jiggle bugs. Jiggle, jaggle, wiggle, waggle, jiggle, jiggle bugs. Maybe you can't do the things I do with Juju, but you can still make me feel good. I guess that means you really are my new friends. And so Gigi the Jigglebug realized she should appreciate her new friends for what they can do, not for what they can't. That was a great story. Glad you liked it. Now, everybody off the rug. Time to roll it up. Aw, do you have to take it back? It's so soft and warm. And the colors are really pretty. That's true, but it doesn't fly. Yeah, but it's great for sitting on. And making up stories. Well, all right, but no space boots on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Kittens, it's time for your soccer game. Me and Hoppy are ready. Boing, boing, boing. Hold everything. I can't play the game. I'm missing Cuddly, my good luck cow. All right. While Dad looks for Cuddly, why don't we make up a story together? Yeah, about a cow. Who jumps really high. How high? Over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a cow named Mama Moo. And she was the greatest jumping cow in the world. Folks would come every month from far and wide to watch Mama Moo jump over the moon. And Mama Moo always landed in style. Ow! I think I hurt my leg. Sorry, but it looks like your moon jumping days are over. Bo, that means on the next full moon, it's your turn to jump over it. Me? Jump over the moon? Wow! But everyone will be watching. I can't do it. Don't worry, Bo. I get a little nervous, too. 
That's why I have my good lucky ping pong ball. Petite. Wanna try it? Uh, no thanks, Mom. I'll get my own lucky ball. With my lucky bouncy ball, I can jump over that stool. Okay, not bad. Next, I'll jump over that fence. But I'll need my lucky soccer ball to do that. Ha <laughs> ha! What's next? Ready to jump over the moon bow? It's time. Sure, but for that I'll need to add this lucky cannonball. What am I going to do? Wait, if I put them in that airplane, they can fly next to me when I jump over the moon. But who will be the pilots? Kate, we can be the pilots for Bo. Yeah, and fly right next to her with her good luck balls. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Pilots Kit and Kate reporting for duty. We'll get these balls loaded up. And you'll have all the luck you need. A ton of it. Your good luck is all loaded. Then let's do this thing. Wish me luck? What for? You got all the luck you need in the back of this plane. I'm gonna make it! Thanks to you and those lucky balls! Her mama. Don't get carried away. Way to go, Bo! I knew I could do it with these lucky balls by my side. Hey, what are the balls doing here? Sorry, Bo, but they were here the whole time. You mean I made that jump all by myself? You sure did. Amusing! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the story, Mom. Sorry, Kate but I couldn't find your good luck cow. That's okay, Dad. I'm ready for this game. I can play without her. Besides, Peggy will give me all the luck I need. Let's do this thing. What should we do now, kittens? I vote we take a nap. <sighs> a nap? I want to make up a story. Me too. Well, that's two votes for a story and just one for a nap. So, story it is. What should it be about? A giant with three eyes. No, with three heads. Who never agree. Agreed. And I know just what to call it. Three who never agree. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a giant with three heads named Boris, Morris, and Horace. And they could never agree on anything. Let's take a tricycle ride. I don't want to. I want to clip our toenails. Well, we, we don't. don't. Hmm. All right, we, we can, can make, make a spaghetti, spaghetti cake. cake. No, I want us to catch a dust ball on our tongue. Well, well we don't. Hmm. All, All right, right, let's, let's watch, watch the news on TV. TV. I don't want to. I want to listen to the news on the radio. Well, well we don't. don't. And because they couldn't agree on how to get the news, the giant never found out that flying in outer space, there was a problem, a giant problem, a meteor made of... Cabbage! No, ice cream. You're both right, cabbage ice cream. And it was headed straight for their house. 
Are they gonna find out before it's too late? Not unless somebody goes and tells them. That can be us. Yeah, we better hurry. Go, kitty kitties, let's go. Boris! Boris! Morris! Who are you? No time to explain. Look! A meteor is headed right toward your house. Run. Ah! We're going to die! 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 Stop! You have to calm down and figure out what to do. What can we do? You can move your house. Yeah, yeah we, we have, have to move. move. I agree entirely. We have to move. Wow, we all want the same thing. Put it there. You all agree. Great. Well, let's let's move, move east to Stinky Forest. East? No. Let's move west to Mosquito Lake. West? Then, then we're, we're not, not moving, moving anywhere. anywhere. Me neither. <laughs> you guys! Uh, guy! Which is it? Guy. guy. No, guy. There's no time to disagree. Look. Ice, Ice cream. cream. Yum. Yum. Looks like cabbage to me. No, it's the meteor. Guys, there's one vote for Mosquito Lake and two votes for Stinky Forest. Looks like Stinky Forest is the winner. No fair. I'm not going. Does anyone want to change their vote? Like in the next few seconds? Well, we could visit Mosquito Lake every summer. Yes, Morris. That's when the mosquitoes are really biting. Hmm. Well, okay, that's how we voted. Mmm, cabbage. Oh, how stinky. I vote we eat this ice cream. I agree. Me too! Mm -hmm. And every summer, the Giants moved their house to Mosquito Lake when the bugs were really biting. That was a great story, Grandpa. Now I vote for a nap. Meow too. Nap? I want to play tic-tac-toe. Sorry, Grandpa. That's two votes for a nap and one for tic-tac-toe. The nap wins. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I can't draw. Why are you crumpling up another drawing? It's trash. Trash? Let me see. You could turn this into a wonderful drawing. But Kit wants it to be perfect. Perfect? Well, I know a perfect story. Want to hear it? Sure. What's it called? Picture perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an alien chef from Planet Perfect. He had perfect green skin and a perfect spaceship. He came to Earth to find the perfect dinner to serve that night on Planet Perfect. But the alien had no idea what Earth food even was. First he tried to eat a shovel. Yuck. An old boot. A dirty diaper. You, The food on this planet is terrible. He sure won't make a perfect meal if he doesn't even know what food is. Kit, let's be farmers and help him pick some yummy veggies for a perfect meal. Perfect. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties let's, let's go. Howdy. Need some help? Yeah, I need to make a perfect dinner, but this food is disgusting. That's not food. What you need are some yummy vegetables. Exactly. What are vegetables? Come on, we'll show you. These are vegetables. You can make a delicious soup with them. Perfect. <laughs> this is called a carrot. They're delicious. No good. What's wrong with it? Can't you see this spot over here? You can't make a perfect meal unless you use perfect ingredients. Oh, okay. Look, broccoli. Worthless. See, this part's greener than that part. Huh? Oh, right. Do you want these? Those? 
No. Then mind if I take them? They're perfect. <laughs> Maybe perfect for a trash collector. Here, these green beans are perfect. Absolutely not. They are all different lengths. Don't you have anything perfect here? Wait! Wait! What is this? It's a radish. Yes, this radish is perfectly perfect in every way. Now we can finally make the perfect vegetable soup. One perfect radish in perfectly broiling water. Bon appetit. Look. I think that diaper tasted better. Mm. What is that smell? Wow, big place you got here. Who made this soup? I did, from all the vegetables you threw away. But they weren't perfect. Perfect enough for me. Try some. It, it, it's perfect. Can I please take some back to Planet Perfect? Pretty please? Take the whole pot. There are plenty more perfectly good vegetables in the garden. Thank you. If I leave now, I can beat the traffic and get back by dinner time. Farewell, Earthlings. That story was perfect, Grandpa. And look what I made from your drawing. It's perfect. It looks just like the alien. I'm going to fix one of my drawings now. That's great, Kit. Except for one thing. What's that? It's supposed to be the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs>